Hello everyone, welcome to another video of the course. In this video, we will be talking about details of these parameters, right? The parameters of the target motor. So the first one is the efficiency. You can read about efficiency classes, i.e. efficiency classes in this standard number. IEC 34-30, right? This standard is uh, efficiency classes of single speed three phase cage induction motors. And based on this standard, we have different efficiency classes, standard efficiency, high efficiency, premium efficiency, and super premium efficiency. You can refer to this standard. Uh, for details about the efficiency classes, we have equations and uh, also we have uh, coefficients, ta some tables for uh, coefficients uh, to be able to calculate the minimum acceptable efficiency for each class. Here, this table shows the summarized calculations for the 50 hertz uh, supply systems uh, you can see the efficiency versus the output power of the motor and number of poles for example our case is here if i zoom the rated power of our motor is point 75 and the number of poles is equal to 4. So the minimum acceptable efficiency for this class is 72.1%, right? As I considered it here, the desired efficiency. So uh, you can use this table to uh, pick up the desired efficiency when you want to design a specific induction motor based on the rated output power efficiency class and the number of poles you can pick up the desired efficiency also we have another table like this that is for 60 hertz supply systems right my focus is on 50 hertz supply system and i mentioned this table in the course notes also you can plot the efficiency versus the output power uh, like this this graph here you can see different efficiency classes ie1 ie2 ie3 and ie4 the interesting point behind this curve is when the output power is low, the efficiency is low, even for uh, higher efficiency classes, right? Because when the motor power is low, the amount of losses, the amount of motor losses is considerable in compared with the output power, right? So when the output power of the motor is below 1 HP, as you can see, uh, we have uh, low efficiency. And when uh, the output power increases, we have uh, high efficiency for all classes. As you can see here, the efficiency classes are close to each other for higher and higher ratings because the percentage of the losses will be lower and lower in compared with the motor output power as you can see here when the output power is above 3 kilowatts all efficiency classes are about 80 so our case is here our motor is 0.75 and the efficiency is 72.1%, i.e. one band, right? 
you can see the minimum acceptable efficiency. Here you can see the uh, IE1 band. The minimum efficiency is for eight pole motors and the maximum is for two pole motors. So our case is here. Okay. Also here in this table, you can see two mechanical constraints. For a standard induction motors, we have uh, standard frames. You can refer to this uh, IEC standard code and read about standard frames of induction motors. Our benchmark motors are foot mounted, right? Here you can see the side view and front view of foot mounted. Uh, induction motor and we have uh, different geometrical parameters for example you can see the distance between the center of two front holes the parameter a also you can see the h here h is the distance from the center of the shaft to the ground and also the head shaft diameter and other parameters so here you can see this table i reported this uh, table that is in this standard and you can see the value of those parameters in this table among these uh, geometrical parameters, the most important one is H. Actually, the frame is known with the value of H, right? H shows the distance between the center point of the shaft to the ground. You can see the value of H here that is equal to 80 right for our benchmark motors you can see the frame size here this parameter frame size that is 80 m right we have a number and a letter here m stands for medium and also we have uh, other symbols s and l s stands for a small and l stands for large actually we can have same frame numbers but different stack lengths for different motors right you can have the same outer stator diameter for example these three induction motors the same outer stator diameter but different stack length value so here you can see for these uh, three cases the value of h are the same but the value of stack length is different here is a small medium and large right so our benchmark motors are atm you can see uh, frame size here and also you can see the frame number here 80 right so actually you can see this figure also right and uh, you can see the distance from the center point of the shaft to the ground that is equal to 80 millimeters right this number so yes also we have uh, detailed information about other parameters but among these parameters, some of them are more important in sense of active parts, right? Uh, we have a stator core, rotor core, a stator winding, and rotor cage, the motor active parts. So for active parts, these parameters are more important. The first one is A, this parameter that you can see here. And the second one is B or BB, right? 
I will explain these uh, parameters. A is distance between center lines of fixing holes and view, right? Uh, we have two holes on each foot of the motor of the frame. So the front distance, actually the distance between center lines of two front holes is named as A and distance between center lines of the fixing holes side view the holes on one foot is called B. Here you can see the value is 125 for A and the value for B is equal to 100 millimeters. Also for the Siemens motor we have same numbers right however we have different geometries for these two frames but these numbers are the same because uh, these frames are based on this standard right so the geometry could be different but the value of these uh, numbers parameters must be the same so here you can see the value of a and b the value of a also represents the outer stator diameter somewhat right and uh, you can see the internal view of the siemens motor as you can see the outer stator diameter is equal to 125 for uh, this motor right if you look at the front view the parameter a somehow shows the outer stator diameter also, you can see the stack lengths of the motor in this figure. The stack lengths of the stator and rotor cores are the same and is equal to 70 millimeters, right? And these two mechanical constraints that we have here. So, okay, this was uh, just an introduction about the standards and mechanical constraints that we have for the target motor from the next video we will start the analytic design and we will do analytic calculations to do motor sizing so okay Let's uh, continue in the next video. Thanks for watching.